outside, the guys who were, had, who were home and well, were kind enough to stop it for a while. I think that they don't care. No. No, from this side you will certainly hear them. So. This is the third time. Okay, actually, this is one of the most uh, lucky things if you wave with the trump. <laughs> Ladies and gents, you've heard the melody four times, so maybe you noticed something unusual. It never finished, actually. It was going, going, and always it cut in the half tone. So there's a legend why. Legend tells that, well, actually hist history tells that in the 13th century we had a big visit of tourists, this time from Mongolia. I imagine they didn't like the city, so they burned it three times. Mongol hordes of sons of Genghis Khan came to Krakow three times. But once legend tells that the city was saved by the brave trumpeter. When the Mongols were coming, he saw the army from far away, and then he started to blow his trumpet to call the citizens to arms. Um, well, they managed to run to the city walls, they managed to defend the city, and trumpeter to give them the spirit he was still playing. One of the last Mongols arrow, when the army was retreating from the city walls, shot the man from the uh, front while he was still playing. Melody cut over the, the city, he saved the city, but he died for the cause. And now for his memory, always this melody finish in half tone. This is very beautiful legend. My job as a tour guide is also to spoil the legend by telling actual historical truth. So the legend was told first time by my colleague, the lady was also a tour guide. She was guiding American tourists who was uh, first time to ask, why this melody finish in the half tone? She had no idea, she reacted like I reacted and I had no idea, she changed the subject. So, second time she changed the subject again, third time asked, uh, she said, well, she prepared the legend already. And then she told it to the tourist. He was very glad. He liked the legend. He was asking more questions about the Mongols. And she thought it would finish like that. She had no idea that American tourist was a writer. He came back to States, wow. wrote down an adventure book for kids called Trumpet of Draco, translated later for 12 languages, including Polish. And you can guess that soon in the 20s and 30s, people who read these books as the kids start to come here and ask, what about the trumpeter, what about the Mongol raid? Yes, yeah. Many of us, uh, two guys, are not very easy. Many of them will say this is the window where he was shot. Even this church was built much later. <laughs> and what is the true story? Why the melody is breaking like that? We will never know. Trumpeters teach each other the melody till the 18th century. Nobody wrote it down. Nobody in 18th century when they decide to write it down have idea what was the title and what was the state or the church melody. And if we don't know something, this is the place for the legends. Questions? 
Time to leave the side of the main. Yeah.